the other way. No, you, you, you have to come here. Yeah, yeah, you have to come. Okay. And Selena is going to give it to Yeah, 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 it's right now. I'm showing you what you have to do. It's too cheap. Don't be extra charge, you know. I know, I know. Do you have a hotspot? Uh, this is not a hotspot, this is what you're painting by watching. Yeah, I'm painting here, this is like a hotspot, you know. So, uh, should I actually not? But you are now making a narrative piece, so you have to tell us what it should mean. What does it mean? What does it mean? Oh, it's a complex story, you know, it has to do maybe with how we make of our life a story. So please, you wanted to say something about Interactivity. interactivity. What, what would be in a few words interactivity for you? Interactivity yes. is one of the dead ends of our artistic era. We expected that to be a major breakthrough, yet it has never developed itself into expression. There have never been made a software system enhance this principle of initiation and response. And that's what the dead end was and is. Do you think it's a dead end? Or do you think it's not? It, it, it hasn't reached so far uh, the, the right way to uh, develop itself in something min it's minute? It's intellectually isolated. It never get an artistic or intellectual community to collaborate. You need a huge input of the narrative product, you know, the content. And it leads you to the theater. It doesn't lead you to electronic media. It just, you have to develop the interactive theater first. But then, what does it mean? That people have to be introduced to new coding systems. And they refuse to do that. Because they only like what they are familiar and they can collaborate. If you prefer the codes or invent the new ones, they reject them. So it is a dead end. Third dimension kills art completely. Produces dead art in three dimensions. Oh, yes. This is my speech for the future. We can hear that. If it's a dead end, should we stop right now and do something else, unplug, like going to a good unplug, restaurant? To don't unplug everything. Unplug everything. That's right, that's good. And throw it away. You know, now the art becomes more and more a utility, see? And uh, there is no justification. The spiritual dimension, you know, has disappeared. Continuously repeating this kind of a stylish style. Modern movement has done it and they dismantle all your dreams of our future. They terminate it out and you must admit it. This is interactivity, you know, we are talking about interactivity. Oh, For yeah. me, the best of interactivity is dialogue. Yeah, but look, we are continuously changing pictures. There's nothing to reflect. We have no time to reflect. An art without reflection is like an empty shell. So, you are reflecting, and, so and, you know, uh, right that's now. what we are doing is basically kind of this emptiness. We are filling it with some meaning, but it doesn't stay, goes away, disappears. There's no gestalt, there's no simplicity of the background and foreground, there's no composition. We are polarizing, you see, you are polarizing all the time, polarizing. That means you, you deny, absolutely deny the content as the object of reflection. You know, for me, there is something very exciting in the way of understanding what is knowledge of the universe and what is to know oneself and what is to know our history. So I'm thinking about the child, the child discovering the world by light first, maybe some sounds, and then more and more understanding that details maybe are connected together maybe is trying to make a meaning out of that. And creating this meaning, creating the space, understanding that things are related to each other, then he's starting to build his own story. This is evolutionary theory. So we are building from little more, yeah? We are expanding something. It's like expanding the universe. No, 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 yeah.
not really. We are reducing the potentiality by uh, connecting things to each other. We are reducing the actuality. This is what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, you brought me to an to a unpenetrable end because I refuse to build anything. Oh, yeah, yeah but uh, what I mean, yes. it's something you cannot refuse. But you, 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 when you, what you call your story, the story of your life, the history of your life, when you, when you want to say something about that, you understand that you're starting at a certain point and starting to understand, you remember this object, you try to connect to this object to understand, oh yeah, this is the same one, this is, looks the same, and this is somebody I know, it's somebody I met already. And this is about that, that time. Okay. This is about that way of building stories that is very close to our first way of okay. building stories. It has nothing to do with God. Okay. It has nothing to do with evolution as well. Okay. It, has to do, it has to do with what is a story. Yeah. Oh, it's about revisitation.